scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. So I've said that every challenge in life has a mindset or requires a mindset support system. A thinking system that supports both the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem. Complaining, a mindset. Murmuring, a mindset. Being, did you know there are people, for instance, come my dear, watch this. There are people that can stand, God can do tarty things, wonderful things, and then just one challenge, a headache, trouble some challenge in the job place and they will act as if god never blessed them in this life let me tell you that kind of thinking you will gain a lot of acceptance but you will suffer indefinitely the choice is yours it's amazing how sometimes we complain as though god has never shown us his faithfulness we complain as if god has never given you a dream we complain as if god has never granted you favor we never we trivialize the salvation that we have we trivialize the good friends he's given us we trivialize access to truth even though you have not received the truth you have access to it already philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ jesus you must intentionally acknowledge every good thing. Apostle, I have big head. What about other part of your body? Have you celebrated God's faithfulness for it? You, you see how negative we are. Apostle, every month, malaria, typhoid, they, we, won't, it, won't it kill me? You see, that's partnership and when you continue saying it you will invite a spirit that has no business coming to your domain remember the, the, i've taught you this the law of consistency the spirit will say someone is calling me and he will come and say what's going on here and your complaint continues to allow it tabernacle with you i will never say anything negative about myself let critics say it not you are we together? Mm. Someone once told me and said, Apostle, you love yourself. I said, what's the meaning of that? <laughs> of course I love myself. Why will I want somebody to love what I hate? Are we together? You hate yourself and you want someone to love you? That's why all this fantasy of hanging yourself, writing a letter, write no letter to nobody. <laughs> oh, I'm tired of this life and things are, you know, and you just hang yourself. It's a foolish way of dying. It's better to serve God and be martyred or do some, or serve society. Hang yourself and, and waste bodies. Are we together? Yes, this is an admonishment. We are going to pray. This night is a very serious night. So many of us continue to partner with demons. Remember I taught you what 
um, apostle paul said he said the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith are we together and that they will give heed to seducing spirits not just demonic spirits seduction spirits and i've taught you that the character of seduction is that seduction cannot work until it finds something that you are vulnerable to if you are not hungry the seduction towards gluttony cannot work if you don't like women the seduction towards women cannot work if you don't like power the sedu so seduction studies you it studies your goals it studies your visions it studies your desires it studies your aspiration and it builds an attack based on that information that's how seduction works or if it does not find anything it studies what god is doing and creates a system there when seduction knows that isaac is coming to put hagar close by so that you now bring Ishmael who will fight with Isaac and punish the nations. Seducing spirits and the doctrines of demons. Are we together? Yes. You must make up your mind that this life of refusing, this life of seeing negative things. Let me tell you, this world is whatever you say it is. There are people right now their viewpoint of the world is a place of bomb blast boko haram wickedness selfishness and they are right and it will become because whatever adam called it that was the name thereof are we together yes you call yourself things god did not call and there are people this world no matter how negative it is they choose to see what god is doing they choose to see the god that lifts they choose to see a destiny that is bright they choose to see a life that insists until god is glorified it will always be unto you according to your faith hallelujah most bitterness that happens in our world as a result of people who feel miserable about themselves and they are not satisfied being miserable alone they will continue to make sure that others join them in feeling miserable with all that is happening in the world god is still on his throne and there is joy unspeakable in heaven full of glory jesus only wept on earth he would not cry again there is no reason for him to cry again are we together so you must make up your mind we are going to pray shortly people will be healed be delivered god is going to be lifting people but let me tell you these experiences will never last in fact for some it will never happen until you trust god today and say this negative sadist devilish antichrist kind of partnership that i continue to provide with challenges in my life there are people who look wrinkled you almost think they are 50 until they tell you i'm just 27 you say it's a lie are you sick no but i said the way the world is who is fine don't talk like that please take seriously what i tell you your victory is not only tied to christ alone it's tied to your understanding your mind is very creative but it's also obedient in my world i see victory i really do i really do in my world i see the life and the power of god in my world i see christ glorified in my world i see lives being changed in my world i see the the powers of darkness continually dislodged in my life i see longevity listen very carefully in my life i see prosperity in my life i see an opportunity to serve the purposes of god with my life forever in my life i see continuous triumph i have taken out time by the word of god and by the spirit to make that understanding become a stronghold in my mind are we together in my mind i see power and anointing someone someone once asked me and said apostle is it that god tells you he's going to move in a meeting what gives you confidence and i said god me and history <laughs> history 
history is the basis for mastery i don't try to have faith in god when he will move we've left that level i know i trust him it's a realm of koinonia oneness certainty certainty let me show you something luke chapter one please give it to us luke chapter one we'll read the first three or four verses look up please for as much as many have taken in hand to set in order the declaration of those things which are mostly secured believe are most surely believed among us verse 2 even as they delivered them unto us which from the beginning were eyewitnesses listen and ministers of the word verse 3 it seemed good having had what perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write unto thee in order most excellent theophilus what is the purpose verse 4 that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed they are not cunningly vice fables the goal of writing this to you is that i was an eyewitness to these things and i want to write to you so that i solidify and clean up any gray areas that might make you doubt the certainty of what you have received this is dr luke writing to theophilus and telling him what is going on that means so that when you stand to declare a thing you are not hoping in the secret you are right the certainty of these things when you say god lifts and god can change lives as a preacher you are you are a funny preacher if you don't believe it how then does the power flow power does not just flow through your hands it flows through your understanding It's very important you, you know this. Are you getting what I'm saying? The certainty of those things. So you must walk on your mind. Philippians chapter 2, same Philippians. Notice that Paul, Paul seemed to drum it in this church in Philippi, this issue of mindset. Chapter 2 and verse 5, he now encourages the saints. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He's teaching here that for you to establish victory in your life you must allow the mind to be in you there was an understanding that jesus had there was a belief system that jesus had any trouble is frustrated when your mind does not partner with it every victory that comes from christ is also frustrated when you do not have a mindset requirement poverty depends on a mindset to stay infirmity depends on a mindset to stay causes and yokes and all kinds of things depend on a mindset to stay i think it was a preacher one time i don't know where i heard this um but there was a preacher one time who um spoke about is it the 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 elephant that is used in a circus how that they would chain the elephant or something like that and then it was used to a rope being tied and it was limited and that because of the it, it was already used to it one time they even removed the rope and the elephant would not go past that because it, the rope has been tied in his mind the worst way to bind people is to bind them in their minds when i bind you in your mind i can lose your hands you are in a bigger prison are we together so you must learn to stand in faith with god and believe with him some of you may have never received properly the miracle service because you are hoping that you will come and watch others get blessed would you leave such a distance to just come and clap for others there is a level of insistence the woman with the issue of blood said if i may but touch the hem of his garment she kept rehearsing before the arrival of jesus blind Bartimaeus said all of you have eyes i have an eye too but i can't see and if jesus is passing around let me just hear the sound of jesus and i will cry thou son of david have mercy on me there is a level of insistence that will force darkness to go are we together tonight so i want you to believe listen let me tell you this it is powerful when the power of god flows in and to and through a mindset that has been so constructed you will see the potentials 
of the life of God. We have many destructive belief systems that continue to short circuit the power of God. You can pray for a lady like this, for instance, in the name of Jesus, may God give you a great life partner. But she already has a destructive mindset that will never even allow the life partner see her. Her mindset has become darkness. A depraved, selfish, unspiritual mind full of low esteem. Which God's son will see that kind of, that kind of um, scenario and be glad to come and marry? And there are men with self-centered, self-destructive attitudes. So, listen, you have a responsibility. And this is the part of the gospel that I think we must balance in church. The gospel that continues to say God is exclusively responsible. He is responsible for birthing the victory. But you are responsible for partnering for the transfer and the manifestation to happen in your life. It is true. And when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. The vessel in this case can be your mindset. The vessel in this case can be your understanding. Is God speaking to us tonight? Someone can be here and you can make up your mind and say, Lord, from January till October, I thank you. But I've not seen the prophetic word you've given me. I'm insisting that this night is not only my night of reception, it's my night of recovery. And that by next miracle service, I'm only coming to testify and clap for others. I, I name today as the day of my salvation. Hallelujah. Yes. God is able. The Bible says it. Now unto him, Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20. Who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all we ask or think. Not ask or sing. Ask or think. And then it says according to the power. Not lives in him. The power allowed to walk in us. The power allowed to walk in us. God's power is like a dam. The one allowed to walk in you is like the, the opening of the tap. You can open a tap so small that it brings water drop by drop. You have short-circuited the potential of the dam. The dam is misrepresented by the allowance that the tap gives. Are we together? So God wants to bring us to a point where he will move us into dimensions of grace dimensions of victory now thanks be to god now thanks be to god now thanks be to god what does it take for god to change a family listen let me tell you this look up don't get used to pain and don't get used to failure continue to insist until your life reflects christ this is this is where the labor of a believer is in the spirit your insistence until the things that you now see become the things you do not see. Insistence. Lord, it is not your will for this family to be in poverty, begging from hand to mouth, anointed but begging, anointed but begging, anointed but begging. Every good thing that happens in the family, you receive it with fear because you know it will not last. And you are right, it will not last because it was only received momentarily it was not sustained by a requisite level of mindset that will keep it whatever your mind holds is yours forever truly whatever your mind holds is yours if your mind holds trouble is truly yours if your mind holds victory it is yours are we together so you must insist this night there are all kinds of things God wants to do. Listen, let me tell you this very quickly. In a miracle service, God does many things. A miracle service is not just a healing service. A miracle service is a service that allows for the power of God to birth and sustain supernatural solutions. Everybody say supernatural solutions. Solutions whose origin and operation is higher than the realm of men. 
It truly is stupid for an individual to sit down and start asking, can God change my life in one day? Can God change my life in two days? Can God turn my family before November? God? Are we together? Are you guys done? Have you fixed it? It's not working. Okay, so please, let's work on it as fast as we can. Make up your mind that my life must become an expression of the beauty and the glory of God. Make it a project. It doesn't matter where you are now. Make up your mind that my family must become a reflection of the beauty and the glory of God. As at the time you are speaking, you may not have where to live. As at the time you are speaking, there's no food even at home now to eat. Don't worry. Stand in faith. Don't fake anything. There's no need faking anything because there's no need faking what can be real. You've heard me say. There is no point faking anointing. There is no point faking power in ministry. You can stand and say, Lord, as it is right now, my church looks like a place where people just stop to drink water because of how powerless it is. But Lord, let something from heaven come upon my church. And I stand in faith and I believe with you. Everybody you pray for is not healed. Everybody you speak over is not changed. But no problem. You stand and look at your siblings and nobody in that house looks like the future. Everybody looks like the past. Stand in faith. I refuse to give my the, my mindset as a donation. Everybody in your family is not married. Everybody in your family has no children. Don't partner with the devil. They have all donated their mindsets. Be the last key that will refuse Satan and say, no way. If God is finding hope in this family, let my mindset be the gateway that allows God to come in. Please hear what I tell you not elder sister no child this one no child you two you have been married how long say two and a half years say all of us are the same you have you are the last card that god is depending upon to become the doorway for his power to come and now the devil is tricking you through frustration to donate your mindset if everybody in your family is failing you can stand and say lord find one doorway that can allow you remember there is no miracle until there is at least five loaves and two fish you have to give god something the five loaves will allow other loaves come hallelujah i never think failure i truly mean it i'm not just talking i never think defeat i believe i'm victorious I live in the consciousness of the jealousy of God over my life. It's true. I have loved thee with an everlasting love. And I have drawn you with my loving kindness. It's not just scripture to me. It is life. It is God revealing his intent to me. This ministry will never go down. It will continue to be from glory to glory. It's true. No, 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 no. I'm being as honest and modest with you as, as possible. Because retrogression has an explanation. You can explain why things deplete. You can explain why things retrogress. And you can explain why things will remain afloat regardless of what happens. Hallelujah. You are here tonight in this place. In the presence of God. You are here tonight. Many of you have traveled from several nations. Some of you have traveled from different places to come. Please hear me, my brothers and my sisters. The first miracle that God is doing tonight is calling your attention to the partnership that your thought life would have been creating with the devil. We call all kinds of nonsense, Hakanea Laishiria. Does it look like God? If you were God, is that how you will walk? Are we together now? You must insist and say no this is not the character of god this is not the best of god god cannot bring 11 children to be scrounging from hand to mouth and the only employed person in that family is earning fifteen thousand. god is not wicked something is wrong the moment you call darkness darkness then light can fight it 
when it has to do with dealing with issues don't be ashamed don't be afraid to stand on god's side are we together so a miracle service allows the multifaceted dimensions of god's power to find expression some of you are here trusting god to break and crack down yokes of infirmity once and for all but do you believe do you agree with god apostle i'm ss this thing will never change it will be unto you according to your faith apostle i know i'm just here no problem they will lay hands on me but that that persuasion is not yet there apostle i believe god will prosper me but in your mind you are looking at that class you are looking at um the fact that your only uncle that had access to bail all of you out died last year and you say it has finished no apostle there have been too much delay in my life by now i should be at this level at this level but restoration is possible let your mind open that door see when you know who god is you don't, there is no fear and regret in your life because the bible says for we know the rest don't know but we who are in the kingdom and are aware of the systems of advantage provided for by god in christ we know that in a believer's life there is nothing that is really a disadvantage it's true if you were employed as a graduate in 2000 by now you most likely with diligence and service minus corruption and wickedness you probably would be a director by now are we together yes and now you've not even gotten a job so if you get a job now most likely you are over age already they will not employ you and so you can sit down and say this thing self i'm dead is finished it's over because you have given god you have told god how to move in your life and not allowed him move how he wants to move god if it's must you move this way and god says i want to do more than you can imagine and he will have to make do with the allowance that your mindset allows him but someone can say lord i'm tired of allowing you to pass through my life only through salary thank you for salary but el shaddai where are you answer my family that is the day you will see what will happen one day and it will look to you like a dream someone will call you and say the lord instructed me to transfer 30 million to this family you say please tell efcc before you talk to me Let, let's just be sure you are genuine and they say god instructed me and i'm obedient then you will now know that the testimony of others are not a lie pain can make you think everyone is lying did god really step in like that did god really anoint you like that hallelujah expect god to step into your family expect god to step into your life expect god to put favor upon you the reason why people succeed in this life the favor of god is true expect it life by default and without the assistance of god is impossible to live it's not hard it's impossible you will never be able to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and live life as it should be unassisted by god no so he interjects your life with different systems of advantage like mercy like favor like speed like restoration all these things are divine forces that work together to make your life become what the word of god says should become so a woman here for instance who has been barren say for six seven years now if god gives you one child that's good news but that's progress not restoration because you will still have to wait three years get pregnant again wait three years get pregnant you must add 12 years to have the four children so god gives you triplets in nine months now that one is no longer progress that's restoration he has brought nine years spacing in nine months are we together god calculates your salary like arias and brings it through favor in one transfer god shifts you to a level of anointing that you should have walked in had it been your uncle allowed you to be diligent attending church serving in the house of god there are certain levels in the spirit you would have walked in right now but because he stopped you and clamped you down and things didn't look like they were working many things just went down in your life and because of that watch this because of that you got grounded and could not know god fast 
and God can lead you to an uncommon mentorship, an uncommon anointing. In six months, you will receive a grace that is 15 years old. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Jacob collected Esau's birthright. He didn't know that Esau was supposed to suffer seven years. When he collected his birthright, Esau's own plus, his own, he served 14 years. It's not about exchanging of women. It's destiny playing out. Their family had delay. I hope you know. From Abraham, it was a challenge. So both of the sons individually, whether they was collecting birthright or not, they would have paid their seven years. Watch this. But Jacob collected Esau's. It only played out using women. But it still played out. That means you can collect someone's speed too. You see that? It's true. Sit down. Please sit down. You can come with a load that is supposed to be 10 years according to the normal sequence of occurrence based on the allowance your family gives and you come under the influence of a covenant that forces your life to look like the grace upon that territory it's true find a way of believing what i'm saying i've shown you luke chapter one to tell you the certainty of these things it is not those who like you that bless you alone it's those who are directed for everybody to like you do you know how long it takes to like a man sometimes you just need to hear god and obey fast your life requires speed hallelujah there are times because of what god wants to do in your life when he finds out that four people need to be blessed to reach you whether they are praying or not he will hurry them quickly because they are delaying you he will hurry them for your sake when you come for a meeting like this be conscious of four things number one be conscious of every prophetic word that comes relating to your issues of concern be conscious of it when these words come don't think they are just empty speakings the carnal man cannot discern the things of god the word of god is like a tray you have to receive the tray before you receive what is on it are we together now the word of god is a tray it carries miracles carries deliverance carries healings so when you receive the word the engrafted word you now take what is in it be conscious of the prophetic word number two be conscious of the covenant covenant is a very deep spiritual word many people just shout covenant around but they don't even know what it means listen a covenant is a system that commits god and causes him to vow to ensure that a person or an institution continues to receive certain predictable outcomes it's a covenant there is the covenant of answered prayer there is the covenant of god's presence there is a covenant of results every man that god truly calls and every ministry that god truly ordains there are underlying spiritual covenants the platform upon which god put his vow and his integrity that has touching this and this i will make happen it's true also be conscious of the graces you see that the graces that are available within that territory you cannot receive a man's covenant you can only partake of it but you can receive graces you are a pastor you come and your church is grounded you only have 50 members during your annual thanksgiving thank god for that but something is wrong god is a god of increase you can come with hearts open to receive the grace how about hardship things not working well how about your spiritual growth you are at the same level for five years the knowledge of scripture zero health of your prayer life zero you are a man of god and nobody is placing a demand on the grace of god that you have it will frustrate you eventually but there are graces every possibility in the kingdom is governed by an operation of grace when that grace comes upon your life 
your result shows thou anointest my head with oil the result shows through my cup he does not anoint your cup he anoints your head your cup proves what is on your head are we together now so this is very important thank you and you have to understand the way this works we're going to pray shortly and i need you to know how this works i want you to receive be conscious of the graces not some of you may not need may not need a miracle like miracle from sickness or whatever but understand that when you come it's like an exchange of graces listen the bible says give us please second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly second corinthians 9 and verse 8 praise the lord read with me please koinonia ready one to read stop 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 god is able to make all grace let me explain that to you please all of you come stand anywhere you want to stand just stand anywhere scatter yourself around don't come close to me just stand watch this call these guys graces the grace for prosperity the grace for favor the grace for speed the grace for spiritual fire the grace for influence watch this access to the hearts of men this is you this is your destiny and the bible says the way we advance is that we need to be in touch with all graces not some i can have the grace for prosperity and i'm rich but i suffer but i succeed you are rich but no man helps you because you don't have favor you only have prosperity the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men if you do not have access to the hearts of men you don't have favor you may have resources so this guy has prosperity so he will labor wake up in the morning sleep late in the night eat the bread of sorrow mix it with hard work and eventually prosper but as far as spiritual fire is concerned the grace that plants in a man the hunger and the passion for the things of god is not in him so that grace is not there he has some but not all and the part the grace dimension he does not have the deficiency of it will show in his life he is getting richer but not as his soul prospers this is the grace he needs when you pray and intercede for this man now god will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of god that has this dimension so that in addition it will be added to him are we together now now listen very carefully please look up everybody so god is one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of god continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been it has been edited to a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear 
watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you travel from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think is the spirit of revelation it's not revelation it's speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation to know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we are going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left and right forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please
Restoration now. I speak it by the spirit. The power of God is still coming on people. Recover. Recover. By the spirit. Recover. I stretch my hands. Recover. By the power of prophecy. Recover. Recover years lost. Recover opportunities. E Paris Kebarashanda la Katariata. Recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare God is bringing recovery. Let me tell you, you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you, you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow. I speak to you, may that grace come upon you now again. Recovery, recovery, recovery. Restoration. I want to take authority over the spirit of delay. I'm seeing many people. Your feet is chained in the spirit. You want to make progress, but you cannot make progress. Fire is falling from heaven now. I decree and declare inside, outside, all the overflows. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains. One. Two, three, I break those chains now. Be free now from delay. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I will hasten my word to perform it. I will not just perform it. I will give speed to my word. The word is quick. And powerful I declare again any family here any individual under the yoke of delay I speak to you by the spirit that yoke is broken now that yoke is broken now broken by the spirit hallelujah now I want to pray. Please listen. I have prayed this prayer. And for those of you who have missed it in time past. May God grant you the grace to receive it now. Listen. Truly speaking. There is a grace for speed. Please hear me. A man's lifetime. Cannot allow the fullness. Of the purposes of God to be birthed. Some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life. It's not enough to rebuke delay. You must obtain the grace for speed. And watch this. I'm about to pray for people now. And that anointing is coming on people. As usual, you'll find people running by the spirit. But I need to release that anointing. Father, I stand under heaven in this miracle service. There are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family that dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year i declare right now let it come upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now speed speed career speed i give speed to your life speed to ministry Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Speed. Hello, Madonna. Hallelujah. Mommy, please look at me, ma. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know you. But I'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family. Where are you coming from, madam? Madam, I'm looking at you. I'm seeing River State. Where are you from? State. Huh? State. River State. Yes, sir. The Lord says I should tell you that from this night, things will change in your life. She's your mother. Help that woman, please. I'm looking at the Lord in the spirit. I'm putting my hand inside a river. 
and I'm bringing something out and the Lord says the destiny of this family in the name of Jesus that's the daughter I command by the spirit every planting that is not of the Lord I overturn and I uproot now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Naomi I'm hearing a name Naomi we have to hurry up I want to pray for the sick Naomi Hello, Kim Madonna. Ah, hello. The Naomi I'm talking about is outside. Where are you coming from? Come, stand. Your name is not Naomi. Is your name Naomi? What's your name? Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? From where? I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I cancel CS. By the spirit of the living God. And I decree and declare like the Hebrew women you will give birth. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again. I correct what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. This is what doctors say. Baby is breached. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I correct it now. May you give birth normally like the Hebrew women. In Jesus name. Let me pray. Are you married? You are backing a baby. Where is the baby? I'm looking at you in a vision. That's why I'm saying, oh, how can this? You know, I'm saying, you came to Koinonia. You are backing a baby outside. This is the vision. I'm... You are not getting what I'm saying. Is this? You were backing this baby when I mentioned your case. Huh? Were you backing a baby? That's why I'm saying, are you married? Because you look too small to be a married woman. This is the real person I want to pray for. Bring this little baby. God is, I don't know whose child is this. Your child. But God, this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God. She looks like a little girl. In the name of Jesus. What's her name? Nicole. Nicole. She may not know what we are doing, but we stand in the presence of the people of God. We anoint this lady. May she become a Deborah to her generation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pray for you. Where are you from? Kogi State. I want to pray for you. Ah. Immediately she mentioned Kogi State. I saw what I used to see now. Now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State. Kogi State. I'm praying now. It's a sign and wonder. Every time I see that, if you are from that locality, the power of God comes on you immediately. In the name of Jesus, I command witchcraft associated with that territory. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Who is Magdalene? Magdalene, my dear, come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. There is grace. You look young. But you are going to be a mother to men. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you and make it so. My dear, I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now. Release her. I'm seeing chains on you. I declare by the Spirit, release this lady now. I'm about to minister deliverance shortly. Release her now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring someone in overflow too now. A lady. The power of God is coming upon that lady. Now, as I speak, overflow too. Mighty fire of God 
is coming please bring her quickly we have to save time in the name of Jesus I pray for you come my dear the grace that will want to make married men disturb you look at me I come against that spirit now not only you there are five other people I'm seeing I don't know where they are but in Jesus name there is a like like it like an almost like an evil anointing that makes only married people to look for you in the name of Jesus by the God of heaven I lift that negative thing off your life now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I hear the name Magdalene I don't know if Magdalene I want to pray very quickly we have to pray for the sick you are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Your name is Magdalene. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God. I'm seeing your feet in mud. In the name of Jesus, I lift you out of this tragedy. By the power of the Holy Spirit. And I speak to this lady. I'm seeing this lady but all I'm seeing is snakes. Completely. I declare be free now. By the spirit of the living God. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let me pray for you, my dear. Grace for you. The favor that is on your life, I command it to start speaking. It will not only be a name that is on you. It will speak right now in Jesus' name. Your sister. Your name is Magdalene. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. Look at me. The Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life. These two things. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Please stand up. I speak to you by the God of heaven. The month of November, a big miracle is coming to your life. A big miracle. I lay my hands upon you and I declare the name of Jesus. Be free right now. Why is this girl here? This Magdalene? come my dear I pray for you place your hand on your head I declare oh God let this chain be taken now I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head be removed now be removed this like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity I remove it right now in the name of Jesus Christ somebody lay your hands on her so anybody just touch her release her now by the spirit of God there's no place for you take everything that belongs to her restore it and go now now please listen I want to minister deliverance please believe it you may not know the woman from Kenya come it's time for God to change your life please stand up when did you come here uh, yesterday yesterday yes. you came here God is about to turn your life around Amen. Glory. you are still coming and you are coming with four people the next time you are coming Amen. Thank you, Jesus. madam what do you do what do you do? I'm a commissioner for human rights. Commissioner for human rights yes. in Nairobi. Yes. In, in two weeks, I'm going to be in your nation. I would like to see you in your nation. There is a reason why I'm talking. I'm not seeing you alone. I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for. Yes. But I want to pray for you, madam. Because I don't know if you believe it or not. You have a political destiny as you are like this looking at me you have a political destiny in kenya and god by his spirit 
is going to make this happen but another thing is there is also the call of God upon your life you are a woman that love God there is is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace but you will get to a point where among the graces God will give you is the grace to pray for barren women notice this grace God is going to bring this grace upon you God I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation there is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build. I'm seeing food stuff and I'm seeing different things. First, it will have to do with young girls, people who have been abused and so on. But I see not only that, I see women too. Women, God is going to increase your influence. I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the spirit, carry this grace. Go to Kenya with it, go and excel. I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ go with this anointing go and prosper may the Lord multiply your political career and may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah praise the Lord an angel of the Lord is standing here someone will shout here under a strong anointing I just saw that grace I don't know first i think until the shout happens i know why god just from here right to the back there is an anointing i just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of god here now listen whether you know it or not if there is anything influencing your your destiny that is not of the christ is about to give way right now <laughs> hallelujah at the count of three hear me whether you are inside outside or following online I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding it's not just a chant my Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower not a weak tower the righteous run it to it and they are saved I want to pray for you I know you've shouted in other months but great deliverance great deliverance is about to come your way father i pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the christ that is sitting on the destinies of men and women manipulating their results i stand and call upon the god of jeshurun the one that rides upon the wings and i declare let there be deliverance at the count of three shout that name jesus one, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Please bring them out. Be free now. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. All the extension online. I declare be free now from ancestry. Be free from foundation. Be free from witchcraft bring them out operations of darkness i'm seeing a womb like the drawing of a woman's womb and i'm seeing it close it doesn't just mean physical barrenness it means a spirit that is closing the door of results Many people cannot get results, but right now that door is about to open and I stand by the God of heaven By the fire of the Holy Ghost Everyone's destiny that has been closed So that it will not find manifestation at the count of three. Let it be open one two Three be open now Be open now Be open now Be open now be open now. Be open now.
finances. Listen to me. Please, I want you to believe it. There is a grace for finances and it's coming on many people. I'm not asking you what you are doing. I'm not asking you what you know. I'm telling you what God is doing. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare Father, the men and women that must enter into this dimension as you are showing me at the count of three, may that grace rest upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. A strength grace for abundance. Receive supplies from heaven. Supplies by the Spirit. Parush Kalipa. Let things work in a way that will surprise you. I command things to work in a way that will marvel you. Haru Salikatash. Mighty God. A few minutes, we are going to pray for the sick now. Now, please listen. I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one. That's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining. It's just a revelation that God is giving me. There are two angels standing by my left and my right. And every time I see this, God wants me to move. Listen. Hear me, except God is not God. When I pass any road where you are, anything that does not name the name of the Christ and any dimension that is not of God in your life, it must give way. Now, I only do this for this and overflow one. Afterwards, we are going to pray for the sick. Please, I want you to just believe. I don't know why God does these things, but I want you to believe that He is mighty and that he will glorify himself. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
glorify yourself change everything that needs to be changed many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions I want you to believe it I will pray not everywhere but there are a few people I'm seeing this happen by the Spirit I shift you in the spirit every limitation that does not name the name of Christ and pray mantles anointings by the spirit coming on people right now let that presence of God shift you to dimension in the name of Jesus dimension I'm seeing a chain around here I break that chain now I'm seeing a chain around here let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Chains be broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam. God is turning your life around. Where are you coming from? Kaduna State. In the name of Jesus. Break now. In the name of Jesus. Be free now. From everything that is not of God. Be free now. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Parush Ali Katosh. I break it now, I break it now, I break it now, I break it now by the spirit of the living God. I break it now. Mama, I break it now. I break it now. sensing an evil spirit just around here I come against you now I take authority over that influence you must go now go now go now go now go now overflow one lift your voice and pray in the spirit now listen your brother's keeper you don't have to touch me please be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself but as i pass here anything that is not of god is about to give way right now thank you jesus go now let it go now let it go now let it go now all tasks i come against you now in here is breaking, breaking over someone's family. Be broken now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be broken now. Be broken now. Beauty and glory to your life in the name of Jesus. Now watch this. Listen, hold on please. Hold on please. I'm standing here and I'm seeing who is Rebecca? Rebecca, they call you Becky. Rebecca, just not inside. Here you are. What's your name? Rebecca. Don't worry, it's okay. What's your name? Don't just come out if, in the name of Jesus Christ, come. I end oppression now over your life and your family. Oh, you, my dear, your name is Rebecca. Where are you from? You are from, are you from Makodi? Benway State in the name of Jesus I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people that thing they call Aleku A-L something K-U in the name of Jesus I cast that spirit by the God of heaven 
if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit you are from that region i stand by the god of heaven let it come to an end now help them please let it come to an end now in the name of jesus hold on please right here there is a gentle man who will be mightily used by god i just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone i stretch my hands lord i don't know where they are Paruska Badu let that grace come on you now strange mantle prayer fire word fire illumination in the spirit receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now I'm standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven right now let deliverance come now let it come now I'm still moving the hand of God is coming on people right now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus please you don't have to touch me in the name of Jesus right here financial stagnation comes to an end an anointing is coming on someone for your family financial stagnation let it be over now my dear be free now out now someone here the power of god is coming on that person be free now free from everything that is not of god New dimension, new dimensions. I've seen an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on, please. I held someone's hand now holding a photo of a sick patient where is he come on. who is this where is he he's in china what's wrong with him he's depressed now if i don't pray for him i'm seeing him inside a coffin in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god let there be deliverance for him now what's his name ibrahim this is not only something affecting him. This is something that is influencing the entire family. But I stand by the God of heaven and I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Be completely free. And I speak to him, Ibrahim. May the power of God touch you. And perfect you now. And perfect you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick. My friend, this man looking at me, come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kogi State. What do you do? Are you a man of God? You came here trusting God for fresh fire. Come. You are about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. You, where is your church? Look at me, sir. Where You have a church? You are under a church. Mm. A time will come God will give you your own work now god is preparing you be faithful you will go but now is not the time you live now you will suffer for nothing are you hearing what i'm saying don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of god but surely a time is coming and you will walk in very strange dimensions of the anointing father i lay my hands upon this man let his dealings with the spirit progress in the name of jesus not only an impartation a dealing that produces real power in the spirit in the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady with green, this lady, you, come. The Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. Two things will happen to you. Number one, I'm seeing restoration. 
God is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration. Number two, I'm seeing the gift of men. Please do listen to my message. Help them on the gift of men. God is bringing people strangely to lift you. I lay my hands upon you and I pray, may this grace be effectual. Carry that grace right now. And you will start having visions. Visions. God is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions. In the name of Jesus. This is very strange what I'm seeing. Except that I saw it, I will not say it. Stop running away from the call. You are a man of God's wife. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense. Stop running from the call. You are the wife of a man of God, a minister of the gospel. The Lord will bring performance to his word. This thing I tell you is a strange mystery. The way God works. But in the name of Jesus, I place the word of God upon that prophecy. It's time for you to not fight the will of God. It's time for you to relinquish your own will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray just one prayer point. The Lord is asking me, immediately we do that we'll pray for the sick and we'll start submitting our request where is that young lady that came out with one mama while i was praying for her there's a young lady that was wearing glasses i don't if if you are here you are the one what do you do you are going to be very wealthy come are you a lawyer huh this is your mother where are you coming from madam okay you are the rivers woman this lady you see is going to be extremely wealthy because I'm seeing you a lawyer and you are going to you I don't know what area of law you are going to specialize but I'm seeing you sitting with so many business people this is a lot of business people signing contracts helping people to process a lot of things millions huh? that's what that's where she is right now doing some things abroad she's what well, that's what she's doing right now where she works that's what she's doing now right now yes she works because i'm seeing god will just cause them to like her it's not every man that is a foolish and a stupid man there are people who are out to genuinely bless yes sir. and i pray for your daughter and i connect her by the spirit amen in the name of jesus amen. she will find these people amen. and in the name of jesus she will shift her to another dimension amen mama god is saying i should tell you forgive does it make sense to you my husband also he's a lawyer but your husband is a lawyer yes but... what was the issue nothing is happening don't worry ma do you know why you fell under the anointing you fell on behalf of all the troubles in your it wasn't just your personal falling alone there are times that you fall representing all of these troubles because this is not what i'm even saying god is saying i should tell you to forgive forgiveness now it doesn't make sense and god has not given me an interpretation but let me tell you this you see look up the average person seated here has been hurt by someone whether friends are we together uncles relatives people you trusted and they betrayed you let me tell you something about unforgiveness unforgiveness is a terrible spirit is one of the master secrets to delay unforgiveness it will keep you in one place forever you are there angry and annoyed and most of what you'll be angry about is legitimate however you see forgiveness is a type of giving understand this forgiveness is still the, the giving grace that helps men to forgive the only thing with forgiveness is that you give in advance are we together the highest form of forgiveness is tolerance where you know it will happen again and you build a system around it to not hurt you we live in a society that is so hot conscious this one hurt me this one did this there are too many things that can create offense the bible says in nothing should you be offended it's a choice mama in the name of jesus please don't cry i don't know what it is and why you are crying but my dear comfort your mother after the prayer eh? in the name of Jesus what is before you is greater than anything that has caused you pain and in the name of Jesus forgive in the name of Jesus forgive 
I also pray for someone here. Do you know there are many couples that have not been able to forgive one another in marriages? It can last for 10 years, 20 years, same room, same bed, but that bitterness, especially for the men. We don't know that this might be the secret. The Bible says for dishonoring your wife, the consequence is that your heavens will be closed. It's not a lie. That's why you see men struggle and struggle and simple things become hard because of the propensity for bitterness. Make up your mind in this miracle service that you will let go and not only forgive but tolerate. I wish I can tell you there are some things your loved ones are doing that they will never do again. But they will do it. Every time a door is about to open here, offense comes. It's a choice. I will not be offended. Are we together? Father, we pray for our daddy in the name of Jesus. The kind of miracle that God will do in the life of this man. Let it be so powerful that everybody around will know that this is the doing of the Lord. I decree it and I establish it in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman here we are going to pray goodness you see how time just runs there's a gentleman here you are a member of mountain of fire where are you mountain of fire you are a serious brother mountain of fire now please i'm, I'm not just saying you attend don't listen to instructions please right mfm my friend you are serious you come from where MFM Kano. MFM Kano. How about yes, you? Calabar. MFM Calabar. Yes, How about you? Lagos. Lagos. I want to pray. I'm not saying if you are from MFM, just come out like that. There are particular people. It doesn't matter what denomination you are from. Once you are here, huh? this is a universal, this is a master key. It will complement on what every grace and every man and woman of God is doing. But I want to pray for you. My friend, I, I'm going. I'm first going to pray for you. Where are you from? I'm from Akwai Bomb State. There is serious witchcraft sitting on your desk. Yes, I hope sir. you are not embarrassed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? You need help. You have prayed. Stand up, please. You are a prayer warrior. Yes. You can pray. You can do fasting. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Sometimes you just need a grace to help you. You hear what I tell you? Yes, I'm going to pray for you. If I don't pray for you, I'm seeing the spirit of death start sweeping people in your family like that like play like play until he starts killing people but let me tell you don't despise yourself you need a lot of mentorship but you are going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of god this brother you see is very serious with god huh? very serious with god you just need the right support impartations and a mentorship system that makes for balance in your life hold my hand father what's your name Huh? and Tony Tony in the name of Jesus everything that represents witchcraft I join my faith with that of your father and your leader Dr. Daniel Odikoya and I decree in the name of Jesus be free now I decree by the power of the Holy Spirit the spirit of death far from your dwelling in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you who is looking for a job uh -uh, I'm not saying I'm not on employment I'm talking to these guys that I, of course I know that people are trusting God for jobs where did you apply huh? Kaduna service. the Lord says I should pray for you that they will give you do I know you applied for a job stand up prophecy is powerful in a moment God can just change things like that my dear let me tell you this it's not even the issue of Kaduna State Civil Service alone huh? God is going to give you unusual influence it will marvel you are we together now hold my hands you believe what i'm telling you yes father confirm your word in a way that will surprise this lady let that rejected stone in the name of jesus become the chief cornerstone receive of that grace in the name of jesus i speak it so i make it so i establish it by the power of prophecy 
let me pray for you gentlemen i don't know if it's you or someone related to you but there's someone god is giving a job someone looking for a job but i want to pray for you father you called out the gentlemen from mfm kano and the remaining places i decree and declare by the god of heaven that everything that represents witchcraft in your life let it give way now in the name of jesus let it give way now even by the power of the holy spirit the lord is showing me a lady i'm not going to ask you to come god bless you but i'm lifting up my hand i'm seeing you know how you cover a bride when you are about to marry before they remove that thing from her face this is what i'm seeing but that one is not pride of wedding this is evil covering your entire a human being with almost no head huh? and the lord is saying i should pray that that veil be torn i don't know who that person is but right now the power of god is going there there, there are many of you i perceive in the name of jesus that veil that has covered you so that no good thing finds you by the god of heaven and in the name of jesus the christ of god i declare that veil torn into pieces now torn into pieces now inside outside online torn into pieces now the last case i attend to and then we'll begin to pray for the sick nothing ever lasts in your hand this is the problem you are trusting god for in fact is one of your requests nothing many good things continue to happen but they never last if a, if a season of open door comes three four months sometimes men can come into your life or women can come into your life and after two three months for reasons you cannot explain you have never sustained any blessing for up to two years as it comes you will see it sometimes you will go to bed in the night and you will have a dream you may see someone come maybe to molest you or to attempt to have an affair with you this is what i'm seeing the moment that thing happens it will not be up to one month and every good thing goes down but i'm praying right now in the name of jesus whoever belongs to this category every attachment you have with spirits that are not of the christ that warrant visitations in the night to molest and oppress you and spy into your liberty i declare by the spirit of god be free now be free now help them please be free now be free now my dear come you come hold my hands it's your it's a new season for you by the anointing of the holy ghost step into a new season i've touched you i saw you climbing a ladder in the spirit i release you into that dimension in the name of jesus christ we have to hurry up and pray for the sick now now please watch this this lady jumping shame and reproach i call it by his name and i command it to leave you now shame and reproach to leave you and let you go in the name of jesus someone will run by the anointing to me don't stop the person just hold the person this is what i'm seeing by the spirit this is a ministry of signs and wonders why these things i'm not saying to run consciously i'll send you back this is by the anointing please there is order in the house of god order in the church are we together the, the hand of God now as I speak is coming upon you. My soul longs and even thirsts for you. My heart and my flesh cries out for the living God. For the living God. Incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face I'm burning longing for you I need you I need you I need you I need you, I need you. nothing I 
I declare to all of you that came out by the Spirit, I shift you. Go forward now. Go forward now. The power that holds you down, I take authority over it in the name of Jesus. Go forward now. I release your families to go forward now. In the name of Jesus. Now, please hear me. Our time is gone. We have to be fast. Now, listen. For those who will be laying hands on you, don't think that because it is not Joshua Selman laying hands on you. Remember I told you that there is a grace that everyone who is called to serve in this ministry and designated and mandated carries that grace. We're about to pray for the sick now. Now listen, please. There are three conditions that I will want to minister lay hands on the people myself remember don't tell lies you cannot come to the truth lying are we together don't insist that i just want joshua selman to touch that's not the idea aside from those who are in the main auditorium that i request to come out if you're trusting god for a miracle if you are here and you are suffering from cancer number one number two you are suffering from hiv Number three, you are suffering from barrenness. It doesn't matter what overflow you are in. If you have any of these three cases, please, with those who are in the main auditorium, I want you to join them and come. Otherwise, please, all the overflows, move to your projector screen and stand there, all as directed by the ushers or protocol. Anyone trusting God for to be prayed for, for healing right now, I want you to make your way to the front quickly. And then in addition to that, the three cases I've mentioned, you come into the main auditorium and join. Please quickly, we have to hurry up. Overflow one, please walk to your projector stand. Overflow two, I don't know from where now. As directed, walk to your projector stand. Overflow three, walk to your projector stand. Uh, my God, I don't know. If there's overflow to be then just walk as you are directed somebody should stand in front of them and direct them appropriately please overflow four um also just move to your projector stand or as directed those online following from whatever nation of the world just connect by faith as we pray hallelujah now please watch this our time is gone and we're going to be doing this very fast listen please if you are here and you're yet to write your prayer request but adventure you are coming for the first time and you need an opportunity to write your prayer request please someone help them with a piece of paper or whatever it is that you will need everyone you can pen down your prayer request now when you're done please lift it and there will be ushers pr help them protocol help them whoever needs to help them let's make it very fast overflow one two three those online I believe that theirs has also been collated. We are going to have everything now so that as soon as we are done, we will pray for the request. The moment you are done, please wave it or pass it to the person um, at the aisle where it can be picked. Give them room to write. If you need a piece of paper, you can help your friend or wave your hand. throne is established in justice and righteousness. Lord, you reign, King of the you are the ancient of days. Lord, you reign, help me. We cry,
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have some hands tonight. Um, Pastor Jakes and Ejimi will do Overflow 3. Since there will be several people there, Overflow 3. They'll be ministering to Overflow 3. Benga will go to Overflow 1. Promise Overflow 1, 2. Um, Kenny Overflow 2, 2A now. Uh, 2A or 2B. Praise the Lord. Isaac Overflow 2B. Praise the Lord. Ima Overflow. Overflow what now? What is left? Huh? Overflow. The last overflow. Where the overflow for? Okay. No overflow. To be go to overflow four. Praise the Lord. It will have to be a very quick walk because there are several people. I'll minister to the people here. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please. Except they want to talk to you prophetically. Don't worry. Listen. Just a touch is all that you need. And I want you to believe by faith. As soon as they touch you, do what you couldn't do. Head back to your seat. Unfortunately, because of the limited time, we may not have time to take testimonies. As you would have seen in many of my external ministrations. For two reasons. One, this is a miracle service dedicated to ministering to people. If we pray and say, if you are healed, come out. It will take a lot of time. We don't have that luxury of time. Praise the Lord. So we are doing three things at the same time. One, we are praying for the sick. Has promised. Pastor Alpha, oh, uh, who is in overflow one? Only you, two of you. Okay, Pastor Alpha, join them in overflow three. Pastor Femi, uh huh, he, Pastor Femi should go to. Did I give you a place? Pastor Femi, join um, overflow two, two B. Okay, with with Iman now, two B or four. You are in two. Only you. Okay, so, um, Femi, please join him in overflow four. Overflow four. Praise the Lord. Just direct them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace. And we declare, let there be miracles right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please write your requests, believing the worship team will lead us through a time of worship while we are doing this. It will be very fast. Afterwards, I will just pray and prophesy to everyone and then we'll try to tie it up tonight but whilst you are sitting make sure you connect by faith you can involve your loved ones let them know that god is moving right now he's blessing people lord we give you all the praise let there be great miracles by the spirit of god in jesus name i pray praise the lord thank you for your patience please rise up on your feet if they are still praying for you where wherever whatever overflow don't worry just just hang on there please stretch your hands to this request as we pray i'd like you to open your mouth and begin to declare by the spirit unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come please lift your voice everyone let's have all the requests here please if there are people who are yet to submit Shabarus kabarata shiketia, embrato zezi alakata. I like you to stretch your hands to these requests as you declare that these Egyptians that I see today, I see no more forever. Shabrato skaparu zedegetia, rakata baranda skete balakoto shiata, embrato skeparu shalakatos, rekete paruda shiata. Lord, turn impossible situations around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, release miracles, release solutions, break yokes, oh God. Turn around family situations for your name's sake. Reveal callings, reveal destinies. Let your people find purpose. Let your people find direction. Make sure you are praying. Lord, stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people. Shabarato Sedepa. Enter the Kotoshabra. 
In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please agree with me in the name of Jesus. Louder amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, tonight we come to you. The God that can answer prayers. And Lord, I decree, standing in the presence of your people, thousands of people have submitted their requests, a representation of their expectations, their pain, their disappointments, their anticipations. Lord, I decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems, we declare lose your grip now. Lose your grip now. Number two, I declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for these requests to be granted by the mercies of the God of heaven, we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you. Every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by God to allow this request to be answered in the name of Jesus we call on the father of spirits to touch them on that wise and every request that remains because of the hardness of the hearts of men we break that hardness now father answer speedily Lord answer speedily turn situations around every death sentence represented in this request we declare that death sentence is cancelled in the name of Jesus and so father we give you praise because we declare by faith the very faith of the son of God that these requests are met in Jesus name as I stand upon these requests I declare by the spirit of faith that in the mighty name of Jesus that which God has done now remains permanent in Jesus name and I prophesy over you by the God of heaven the Egyptians that you see today that pursued you from Egypt to the Red Sea and beyond I declare by the spirit you will see them no more forever no matter how long you have been in Egypt if you go out of Egypt no going back in the name of Jesus between now and the next three weeks may the God of heaven in the name of Jesus 21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit I decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks And every request that has been released already but has been hijacked by men and systems I mount pressure on those men and systems to allow this request manifest I mount pressure on those systems allow this request manifest let it be so in the name of Jesus give Jesus praise hallelujah I'm going to declare the last prophetic word over everyone here. Please, I'd like you to be sensitive. Don't be careless about it. Hallelujah. Please, they can come and pick it. I believe in the power of prophecy. The spoken word is also creative. It can make things happen. It not only reveals what will happen, it makes things that has no business happening to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare over you. Please hear me. By the God of heaven, every door that has been closed over your destiny, I stand here as the servant of the living God. I force that door to open now. Everyone trusting God for a job, a meaningful job, not a nonsense job that does not have honor. I pray now, 
a job that will not take your relationship away from God a job that will not make you compromise receive that job in the name of Jesus I pray for your spiritual life the kind of fire that you need on your prayer life in this season I speak over you receive fresh fire access to revelation access to light receive it in Jesus name every helper of your destiny who must show up in this season to make the word of God to come to pass I command them to appear now I preached last week on the book of remembrance let me pray that prayer in the name of Jesus I open the book both in the heavens and in the earth and I declare every good thing you have done to any man on earth I compel remembrance now I compel remembrance now every kind of barrenness biological barrenness financial barrenness career barrenness ministerial barrenness I curse it now and I command it to leave you let me pray over the spirit of death any family here appointed unto death I speak by the God of heaven be free now number two every family appointed unto hardship that you will never see the goodness and the salvation of the Lord I cancel that pronouncement now listen by the blood of the eternal covenant in the name of Jesus I cause every foundational issue that causes hardship and pain and retrogression over your life now the kind of honor you have never seen in your life I speak to you by the Spirit step into it let me pray for favor I will never stop praying this prayer till you carry it bodily access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of kings receive it now by favor restoration of visions dreams listen there are many of you who used to have dreams and encounters nothing crosses over you without your eyes seeing it but it looks like you are becoming like Eli your eyes becoming dim I pray for you I fan back your vision to flames in the name of Jesus every pattern that is in any family you see it in your siblings you see it in your life I declare let it be broken now anyone in ministry here please hear me I speak to you as you return back to your various stations let fire fall upon your altar I pray for everyone in business dying business dead business let it come back to life now please don't just say amen believe creation is happening everything God showed you from the beginning of this year and told you should have entered your hand by now but the devil is adding 30 extra years to your 400 years I push you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I speak to you by the God of heaven any man that fights you goes down instantly
and anyone holding what is yours and has vowed not to release it in the name of Jesus may God humble the pride of wicked men anyone who has said over my dead body for this family to move may God answer their prayers I open the door of favor towards every family here in the name of Jesus all our ladies and all the women that are due to give birth I declare give birth like the Hebrew women in the name of Jesus let me pray for all the gentlemen our time is gone but I must pray for you the grace that establishes a man early may that grace rest on you for those of you who are still 30 years 35 40 50 still loitering your parents house eating your mother's food not just as honor but as a necessity in the name of Jesus by the God who is the lifter of men I declare may that reproach live your life now anyone here called barren in Jesus name by November miracle service you come here pregnant already let me pray for every ministry here every prayer group every platform intercessory groups churches fresh grace for you in the name of Jesus Christ the final prayer I'm going to pray for you honor is what makes men reward you listen 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 honor is the ability to discern the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness you can be as anointed as anything but when honor is not on you men will only just celebrate you from afar but you will never live a rewarded life i pray the prayer that jabez cried unto god for the bible says and jabez was more honorable than his brethren i pray for you everywhere you find yourself rise above your contemporaries let me pray the last prayer point don't say it's not important there are people here your life is not advancing the kingdom in any way this is not altar call this prayer for you to settle down and let your life advance as far as God is concerned you are time on earth if your life does not find a space to advance the kingdom not your work not your service not your worship it looks like nothing about your life there is no kingdom come represented in your life you are just living for yourself hand to mouth to marry have children maybe go to school get a job i redirect your focus now in the name of jesus christ may your life and everything involved around it cause the kingdom the power and the glory of god to be manifest in the name of jesus and every other request here whether mentioned or not i stand in agreement with you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god receive it as a testimony in the next one minute whether you are in overflow one two three or here you are yet to make jesus lord of your life genuinely please no movement and or you are saying apostle i've handed my life over to jesus but for some reason things have just scattered around my life and i don't seem to gain any footing and bearing and i want to make my way right with god please whether you are in overflow one overflow two the main auditorium aside from overflow three please i'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here right now koinonia celebrate them don't wait for anyone to come first quickly if you're coming please come and stand
Come and stand. Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia is this the best you can do. Join them quickly. Scripture says you must be born again. If you're coming from outside, please make it snappy. Make it as fast as possible. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you here. Please lift your right hand. Believe that Jesus is here standing before you. Gentlemen and ladies, please join them very quickly. If you're coming, please come quickly. Quickly, quickly. You're coming, come very quickly. Thank you. Now, say this after me. Say it passionately. Say it truthfully, believing that Jesus is here. And he will honor your confession of faith. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification tonight i ask you to be my lord my savior and my king i receive eternal life into my spirit i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that from tonight and forever I move forward ever backward never these three ladies didn't pray the prayer somebody direct them and let them pray that prayer the prayer is already finished you this yellow girl and those two those my sisters or shall any of you are you not Christians direct them someone pray the prayer with them in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now begin to walk in victory in Jesus name I introduce you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit you will know him you will walk in his ways you will command strange results in your life in the name of Jesus Christ I call you tonight the righteousness of God I call you that you are part of the family of heaven in the name of Jesus all of the people who are just coming you're welcome God bless you just join that group that they are praying with and just pray the prayer that they lead you to pray in the name of Jesus Christ Lord Jesus, thank you for these precious ones that you died for. I decree and declare that tonight you receive by faith the abundance of grace, the gift of righteousness, and I declare that you reign in life. Go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. All of you in concert, I want you to follow the lady smiling at you with her hands lifted. Everyone, please follow her. And um, they will direct you to a few people. So God Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.